Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Francis Wang. Here's a look at some of your Friday morning headlines. Breaking overnight, a teenager is in the hospital after someone opened fire on a home. The family says someone shot more than 10 bullets into the home on Southwest 24th Street and near 64th Avenue. One of them hit a teenager who was sleeping inside. No one else in the home was hit. A ring video captured two people walking near the home just moments before. The family believes they could be responsible. The wounded teen was taken to Memorial Regional Hospital and is expected to be okay. New this morning, a juvenile detention center employee is waking up behind bars after he's accused of sexual battery on a minor. Miami-Dade Schools Police arrested Javante Richardson after a juvenile inmate at the facility he works at told management she engaged in sexual activity with him. Police arrested Richardson after management confirmed the victim's allegations via surveillance video. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suing the CDC and federal government. He wants them to lift restrictions on the cruise industry immediately. During a news conference at Port Miami, DeSantis called the federal restrictions, quote, an overreach. He also points to the effect on cruise workers and the tourism industry. The governor joined several cruise lines in calling for the reopening, but DeSantis is pushing back against some who want vaccine passports to prove immunity. And one person is dead and several others are injured in Central Texas following the fourth mass shooting in the U.S. in just three weeks. The gunman opened fire at a cabinet manufacturing company in the town of Bryan. The suspect, who police identified as 27-year-old Larry Bolin, was caught after a manhunt. No word yet on a motive. And let's look at some of your morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.